Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you should buy and what you should afford wasting your resources to buy in the shop. So right here, the first page that we're going to see is the, the real currency shop, which I won't go through because I'm a completely free to play player. And I think if you're spending money, you can basically buy whatever the hell you want. So I'm going into shop list. These are the things that you can buy with the in-game currency that you can farm. So first we're going to look at the season. The season is the coin that you get, the currency that you get from PvP. So PvP would be the gauntlet point that you call. And basically this is very straightforward. Gauntlet point, you that's all you do. You know, that's the only place you can use. And when these are unlocked, you can buy these. And I recommend you just, I recommend you just buy every single thing you need. And uh, later we will encounter the same thing. Well, this is the probably the best. First one here, employment contract is where you can summon heroes. And the rest, I'm going to go through that later because we will see these again. So in, um, rather than myself saying it two times, repeating it. Okay, so I would say if these ones, um, early game you need these. Later, these are the things that you definitely do want to get. T6 is possibly... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are the highest tier gears that you can get, which is tier 6, and they are quite expensive. But however, in my opinion right now, you don't need to use this until much later. Probably end game content. So you probably want to save these for later, and now you probably want to use like level up and upgrade your heroes in the beginning. Okay, exchange center is what we usually would be buying stuff so this shop here there's a refresh of five times that you can do using um, your diamond which I do not recommend it doesn't really change that much and there is a I think it's once a day or twice a day a timer reset so you can always come back afterwards so these are the stuff that I definitely do not recommend using your quartz your diamond to use this because your diamond is your premium currency in the game and they can buy other much more useful stuff. These stuff you can still kind of farm in later later in the game. Okay, so these one here I can... Like these, sure, because gold you can farm infinitely as long as you have the stamina. This is worth it. This is where you craft your conversion of your core. So these are worth it. Conversion approval, also some of the materials that you want to confer. When you have too much of this and you need the other one, then you use the conversion conversion ticket here. And these ones are for um, limit break upgrades. The urgent crafting coupon. Um, they are cheap. These are for people that don't want to wait. They want their gear right away. Then I think these are okay. They're not expensive, but they're not cheap in the early game. But later when you're around like level 30 or so, you probably have more than enough gold when you upgrade your characters. Okay, resources here. If if you really want to play, like I need that stamina right now. I want to play. I'm addicted. Get it. You can only get it three times a day. 150 is not that expensive. But for gold, do not ever buy gold with your quartz unless you're not a free to play player. Because you can farm these. They are not worth spending your premium currency. Convenience good. So in here, everything requires your quartz. The only two things I recommend that you should spend, well, lifetime contract, yes, but then that's way later in the game when your character loyalty hits 100, when they're almost, well, they don't have to be maxed out, but this is for your strongest character. So you can get lifetime contract. Um, These one here, not... I mean, they're good. It gives you like so much, but you do need these to um, enchant your gear, to tune your gear. But this is not priority. Set binary package one. I think this is priority. Once a month, and they give you 30 of these, you need these to change your set. If you like your gear, but you don't want, like, it's not the right set for a hero, you can use this. And once a month only. Even though in the early game we don't use it, but end game later we need a lot of these. So don't miss out. Get it right away. Bam. Okay. And the next thing would be the ship. This one here, you need these specific gear 
to upgrade your ship but in the early stage you don't really need these and you can still farm it so probably hold off for now because your again your diamond is pretty pretty rare they're premium and these one are for your ship and then stimulation ticket you can if you feel like this is where you can that is why I told you guys not to buy this because this is where you can actually use one ticket to farm multiple of those when you do your stimulation so stimulation each attack defense and your special attack two tickets each but now it's five ticket on top of that so you can have you know maybe four special attack four um defend and then four whatever i mean another one that leftover one so you can use that for whatever so i would this one for sure and then you can buy these as well but they're quite expensive it really depends if um because this one gives you 30 but this one if you use 1000 it only gives you 10. but if you really need it i do recommend using it okay so now emo whatever for me i don't really care i don't even talk to people in game but if you guys are into that go for it background background is what you see right here this is your background so you can change that by spending a lot of gold okay now we're gonna look at this uh, planet mall here this is what you get when you summon after you summon you get these task planet point and basically just buy whatever for me i would probably buy i don't i'm a completely free to play player if you're new to my channel i always use low tiers or i try not to use the ssr heroes yes i'm we are like that so for me i wouldn't be getting this but i think this is a premium package that you, you should get but this is this is like a 10 percent, 11 percent from the whole package so it's rng you cannot choose who you want but you will guarantee get a get a ssr hero so for me i would probably go for the employment contract i have a chance to summon five heroes and I would say these are pretty good. You have a choice of the red, blue, and green. So I would say if you want to progress, these are more important. And these are the one that you need to um, limit break. Okay, now we have raid here. Raid, these are raid gears. You need these material to craft these gear. And they, you can only get it from raid. And raid is, they come out randomly. So you, you can't really, well, you can farm it maybe once or twice a day. I'm not sure how many times they will spawn, but whenever they spawn, that's your chance to knock them out and then you can get these um, currency. Okay, dive. Dive is like a dungeon that resets one and a half month. So the further you go, the more of these currency you get. And everything in here is to upgrade your ship. Well, aside from this one, it's for tuning your um, gear. But these are all the stuff that you need this is something that we saw earlier from right here so you don't really have to get these you can go to dive and get probably enough of these okay so now we go to consortium this one is your guild currency so you need to join a guild and i would get basically whatever you can because your guild there's nothing else really to buy aside from this and these are your guild points business card business card is i think you get these i don't even remember where i got them i'm pretty sure i got them from um completing the story and stuff and here lifetime contract instead of using your diamond you can get it right here but only once a month so this is a uh, pretty much a no-brainer but it's quite expensive at 100 and these are the stuff that we saw earlier and this one we get them from the in-game reward and this is the only thing you can buy so basically just uh, buy them out and in there, you have a chance to get any of these RNG when you unlock the, uh, when you unpack the package. These ones are pretty common that you would need. These conversion ones, so really depends what you need. All right, guys. Hopefully this video helps you understand what you need to buy and what you shouldn't buy. Thanks for watching and bye bye.